Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Miss Heidi from Our Savior Lutheran Church's Sunday School Program. Today, I want to bring you an activity that you and your family can do that goes along with the lesson that Miss Becky had read today during the children's sermon. So in our lesson, we had heard about how God had given the disciples an amazing gift where they could you speak a different language and they could understand each other. So today I thought it would be fun to try using a different language that we're not always used to using. And that's body language, and we're gonna use it for the game of charades. What I mean by that is in our game today, we're not gonna to get to speak. In our game, we are going to have to use facial expressions and hand gestures and ourselves in order to act things out. So with that being said, let's figure out what kind of supplies we need in order to get our game ready. The first thing we're gonna need is a piece of paper. Now you can use just copy paper or maybe you have a notebook that you have at home. You can use that paper as well. It doesn't matter. You're gonna need a pencil and a scissors and some sort of timing device. So I got this timer just out of a different game that we had here, uh, but you don't have to use one of these. You could use a kitchen timer or maybe a timer on a phone or if you don't even have that, you could just have somebody keep time. That's fine too. The last thing we're gonna need is a container. Maybe it's something like this, or a bowl, or a basket, or maybe a hat. Once we have our supplies gathered, the next thing we wanna do is prepare our game before we can play it. So you're gonna to wanna to get a piece of paper, and you're gonna to wanna to cut it into squares. They don't have to be perfect, it's just so that you have something small to write on. So here's an example of one of my little squares that I had cut out. Um, and then what we wanna do is make sure that we write something on each one of our squares that people can act out. Before you start writing, you might wanna think, do we maybe wanna play this round with a topic? Maybe you want your topic during this round to be feelings. So maybe on one you write mad or excited or happy, or sleepy, whatever it is, you know, it's good to have a topic because it's a fun way to play. Um, the other thing, maybe you could get some topics like uh, books of the Bible or um, items from the Bible or Bible stories, things around church, you know, whatever it is. Um, they don't have to be church related, but it's always fun, right, to, to do that. So um, just make sure that you have an idea of what you wanna put on these. The other thing you wanna think about is how hard do you wanna make them? Do you wanna make it so that it's easier for people to act out and to guess, or do you wanna make it a little bit more challenging? And what you decide might have to do with how old the people are playing your game with you. So keep that in mind, I'll let you make your choices up. But with that being said, just make sure that you write something on each one of these that people can act out and have enough of them so that you guys can play the game uh, for a good amount of time. And then go ahead and just put them in your container. And then that's ready. The next thing that you wanna do is figure out how do you wanna play the game? Does the family just wanna play it as one team and maybe just have fun acting things out? That's totally fine, you can do that. The other thing would be maybe you wanna get a little competitive and maybe you want to um, have two teams. So half the family's on one team and the other half the family's on the other team. If you decide to do it that way and you wanna keep score, make sure that you have some extra paper handy and a pencil so that you can keep track of how many points each team gets. The next thing I wanna go over are the actual rules of the game. So with charades, I'm gonna take that we have two teams in this example. With a game of charades, we are going to have the person from the team who's up um, pick a volunteer, they're gonna come up and it's gonna be their turn to act out. They're gonna come in the container and they're going to pick something. They're not gonna look, they're just gonna randomly pick one and read it and figure out how do they need to act. When they're ready, what they're gonna do is say, I'm ready, and then somebody's gotta start that timer. Normally the timers are set for about a minute, but if you have a younger um, group of people playing with you, you might wanna make it too. Totally up to you guys what you wanna do with it. Um, but as the person vol uh, volunteering to do the acting this round, I have to remember that I can't speak, okay? My job is to just use myself to act out what's on this piece of paper and have my team guess. I can't tell them what it is, okay? And if I'm caught cheating and telling people what it is, then we lose our turn this round and it goes over to the other team. So while I'm up here, if my team can guess what I'm acting before the timer runs out, our team gets a point. If the team can't figure it out before the timer goes out, we just don't get a point. 
either way, once I am done, it goes over to the other team for their turn and they do the same exact thing. And then we just go back and forth until everybody gets a turn and we can just keep playing until we are just done playing. We're maybe done or maybe we ran out of little squares and we got to make more. So however you guys want to play. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about is how you can play this virtually with other families and make it really exciting. So right now everybody's at home and we are distancing ourselves from each other. So how can we stay connected? Well, this is one fun game that we can play with another family. So for example, maybe I want to play with Miss Becky's family. If I wanna do that, um, I just wanna make sure that both her family and my family have the same supplies. We have the container with all the um, different things to act out in it. We have our timer, we have you know everything ready to go. Um, and then one of the things you could actually do to make it fun, maybe I make the list of things to act out for Becky's family. Maybe she makes the list for mine and we text them to each other and then we have to act each other's ideas out. Um, or you can just do your own. However you wanna do it is fine. Um, but once we have everything set, we need to be able to come out um, and communicate like we are right now, right? We need to be able to uh, video chat with each other. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a device with a camera. You're either gonna need a phone that has a camera on it or maybe an iPad or laptop, whatever you guys wanna do, um, just make sure that you have it set up so that you can see each other and uh, then you should be good with that but we also need to get some sort of application that allows us to do the video chat back and forth. So if you have an Apple device at your house and they have one at theirs, for example, like an iPhone or an Apple iPad, you can actually just use the FaceTime app and play that way. If you don't have Apple at both houses, the next thing that you could do is look at Facebook. If you go into Facebook Messenger, there's actually a, a video chat uh, application in there you can see it looks like it's a little icon that looks like a, um, a video camcorder so if you have Facebook you could also use that if you don't have either of those things what you could do is go online and download zoom it's z-o-o-m zoom is a free program that you can get um, that allows you to do a video conference with other people which is really exciting. Um, the only thing is because it's free, they do have a limit to it. So I believe it's like 40 minutes or something like that that you have for that. Um, and you can probably do more after, but just kind of keep that in mind if you are using Zoom so that you know how much time that you have to play the game before your, your meeting ends. Um, but anyway, so keep that in mind. I hope you guys have fun. One other thing, if you're playing this game, whether it be with just your family or with another, take some pictures and then post it on, on social media. And don't forget the church's hashtag. I'll put it up here for you. I hope to see you guys again next week. Have a wonderful and safe week.